So welcome, uh, everyone. I have three amazing guests today. How are you doing, amazing guests? We're great. Great. <laughs> <laughs> doing wonderful. I had the privilege of being involved in a, it was a new experience for me working with dancers and choreographers through uh, the Erie Dance Film Festival, which, correct me if I'm wrong, Mark, was um, a brainchild of Erie Arts and Culture, was it? Or was it a group of creatives? Tana Hunter, my former boss over at Mercyhurst University, uh, she is working with Erie Arts and Culture now. And uh, I believe that she and Patrick we're having some discussions about some funds that were set aside for specifically for dance. Okay. And uh, I don't know who brought it up first, whether it was Patrick or Tana, but uh, one of them did. And they said, yes, let's do a dance film festival. So they started gathering a handful of people to kind of orchestrate that, make that happen. And I was one of them. Okay. All right. Sounds good. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. So. We were paired together, and um, we were tasked with making a, what was it, eight, eight minutes, seven minutes? Eight minutes. Eight minutes. And you also had to film in Erie County, which we <laughs> either forgot or <laughs> disregarded. Uh, I think it was more of a disregard, <laughs> disregard. to be honest. <laughs> so, but you were caught and reprimanded. <laughs> that's right. So well, at we some could get point, away with it. Yeah, we tried. We tried, but someone, someone leaked it. Mark. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I think it was that way. <laughs> so we have, uh, we have the version that was shown during the film festival, but we will be finishing, right? The director's right, cut. I would hope we so. We will be finishing it we sometime. We have plans on finishing it. Yes. 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 That includes the illicit, illegal footage. <laughs> That's right. So I jumped right ahead. You okay. guys introduce yourselves so everyone knows your voices, <laughs> and then we'll go from there. You're looking at me, so I'm I'm get, at I, I, I will start. You're up first, uh, boss. I am Mark Santoliano, and uh, I guess a quick little background. I teach dance at the Mercyhurst University, but prior to that, I had a, I guess we'd call a successful performing career as a dancer. But now um, I'm basically doing some teaching and choreography. I do a little film, dabble in film work and photography myself. And uh, I think that's sort of it for now. Yeah. yeah, that sounds good. My name is Angela McDonough DeFiori. I moved to Erie in 2015, I think. Yes. Um, I am a choreographer. I teach in higher education. I have for 25 years, I think. All right. Um, so I'm old. And <laughs> currently, I am teaching um, adjunct at SUNY Fredonia in Fredonia, New York, and f from time to time at Mercyhurst University. And I, um, I'm a mom. Aww. Aww. <laughs> we love to hear it. <laughs> um, I'm Corinne Justine. I am a performer choreographer filmmaker director <laughs> um, I just graduated from the Boston Conservatory 2020 I am um, a dance artist at Sage Dance Collective here in Erie um, I'm a choreographer like I said already doing a lot of work there um, yeah just living life here in Erie right now. <laughs> Suppose I should also mention, um, I am a co-director of my own dance company, also Somar mm -hmm. Dance Works. Yes, so worth I, noting. I, I, had to, I had to mention that. <laughs> yeah, of course. So they paired us all together. Um, well, I think we started talking about before there was a pandemic, right? Didn't yes, <laughs> yes. The, the ball was rolling for the Dance Film Festival uh, a while back, before the pandemic, and just kind of coincidentally, during the world of pandemic, dance films took off all over the country because mm -hmm. dancers couldn't perform live. So turning right. to a uh, recorded um. two-dimensional art form was the sort of like the only option for a lot of people. So, right. so we were sort of like popular before we were popular. Oh, so that's like cool then. Doing the cool kid thing. Okay, yeah, I guess I didn't even think about that because, um, yeah, that's a tough one without a without an audience and, yeah, it's got to be really difficult. So it just kind of like 
stop? Did it just shut down? Like I'm There were no live performances, okay. really. But for the most part, there are, there are a few companies that were doing outdoor performances, like in parking lots, and the audience would sit in their car. Mm-hmm. I, I, okay. I tried to make that happen. I thought that'd be really cool. <laughs> wow. Um, um, but as far as the the dance film festival, uh, you keep talking about you know you were paired with them. One of our one of our uh, parameters was that uh, we were trying to get people to cross poll- cross pollinate mm-hmm. where mm-hmm. where they didn't work with people that they normally worked with. So I think this team here had never really worked together. I mean I've crossed paths with actually all of you a little bit one time or another but mm-hmm. uh, but we've never really worked together right. Right. so so when we were putting the teams together we said okay well who hasn't worked together and what would be a good you know what, how can we do this so so we ended up with a killer team I think, I <laughs> think so. whoever made the selections did a great job because it turned out we had all of these um, similar interests in yes. talking about climate change and diversity equity and inclusion and the list goes on. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it felt sort of magical. Like this is this was a yeah. great a great team. So I don't know who made those decisions. This but truly was a power group, <laughs> to say the <laughs> least. <laughs> Eco warriors. Yeah, I enjoyed every moment creating with you guys. That was fun. Yeah, I was. I felt very spoiled. And I, you know, instantly I think I told you both like I want to keep working on like dance film stuff now it's like yeah. exciting <laughs> <laughs> I have so much fun. okay so yeah we were partnered up and we came up uh, well we knew we wanted to do something what about the environment climate change i'm trying to think back to like those first initial meetings and and conversations um, before we got rolling. All I remember is you bringing up the word apocalyptic and it kind of soared from there. Yeah. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Well, when you're in like the midst of a pandemic, all of a sudden everything's shutting down. Um, You know, you're seeing more signs around you of um, man and like right now, right? It's like 90 Mm -hmm. degrees all week. Like yeah, after it's been raining for two months. So. Yeah, things are getting more and more, uh, yeah, like radical mm-hmm. and extreme. So, yeah, it was just taking a moment and thinking, all right, what do we want to do? So then we thought about, um, you know, having Corinne um, being like kind of the main protagonist. She's in a park. Trying to find shelter. Frontier Park. <laughs> Frontier <laughs> Park oh, is where we yes. ultimately <laughs> filmed. Jumped ahead. And then we, we have uh, our, um, our our male, our male figure here that is, uh, you're sort of the antagonist, right? You're sort guess, of the yeah, bad guy. I guess. I don't know. I was just doing what I was told. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was cool, Mark, because, you, you know, you mentioned we hadn't worked together before. I remember we tried to get you into um, Unearth. And our oh, schedule. I was, was going to be a, an extra. Yeah, you were going to be a farmhand. <laughs> yeah, I was going to be a farmhand. Uh, <laughs> picking corn out in the fields, uh, which is like one of the last shots of the whole movie. Um, which but was our, great, by the way. Oh, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that plug. Yeah, but you were, you were running behind schedule. Yeah, so. which was kind of the story of, well, and Corinne's finding out on her, your project that you're working on now is like scheduling yeah. is always changing. Yep. And yeah, every we had, couple of weeks, it's like, oh, we're pushing it back. I just got another email yesterday, <laughs> pushing it back. Yeah. But it's the way so, it works. So I didn't also we end missed, up in your film. Yeah, we but missed it. But I did her. get a free lunch, and, and you cut me a $30 <laughs> check anyway. So <laughs> I'm appreciative. We paid for your gas. Yeah. We paid for your gas <laughs> yeah. and your time. So I'm cool with that. It's fine. But it was cool that then this opportunity came up and, um, you know, the chance to get three wonderful dancers and creatives. Oh, go uh, on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're, we're setting up our themes right in the beginning, right? We wanted to be in a – we were filming in the fall, so we've got the nice, lovely fall colors mm-hmm. and the green grass and the yeah. blue sky. And Sets for a, a great – opposite yes. scenery of what we were going for. Yeah, the good old days. Yeah, right. Yeah. And then the drastic change is like, bam. Yes. <laughs> and Mark, we had you in a suit. Yes. And it was hot. Yeah. 
how, how was how was that? Oh, it was. How was it dancing in a suit outdoors in the in baking sun? That's whatever, you know. <laughs> whatever it takes. Whatever. <laughs> I was there for the lunch. No. <laughs> there was no lunch. No, there no. was no lunch. Very tight budget. Yes. Yeah. Very yeah, tight like, budget on this one. Um, no, it, it's fine. I've I've done plenty of outdoor hot dancey stuff before so but do you have a special uh, suit that's like you know okay, got well, some give to it no I'm that curious. that that's I, first off i don't wear suits a lot okay. actually i don't wear shoes a lot <laughs> <laughs> i'm a modern dancer at heart um even when i'm teaching jazz i'm usually barefoot mm. but uh no that suit i picked up at the goodwill for like okay. two bucks oh, wow. and i wear it most of the time That's i awesome. need a suit so um hey it's great it still fits you right yeah it, it's yeah it, it's serviceable i may <laughs> need to replace it though it's starting to show some wear and tear on the inside um, it's from all that dancing so, yeah. <laughs> uh, something like that anyway so so don't look too closely at the suit or or the rest of the outfit but you know that's the closest thing I could have to a power suit that you wanted, like this yeah. cor- this corporate executive. It's like I don't have that kind of wardrobe. <laughs> it was the right look, though. But it was the right look. It was fun. Oh, absolutely. It's it, it's art. We can we have a little wiggle room there. Yeah. It totally for me represented the corporate greed and the character, um, and oh, your thank you your acting <laughs> skills and um, it just all and. My favorite, one of my favorite things is when Corinne gets into the abandoned warehouse, the next scene where she passes out and wakes. It's like the dream sequence. And Mark, this really nice guy, he's like a really nice man. And he <laughs> Don't looks her. He's so right. evil. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, like patting her on the head in a very condescending. Kicking leaves in her face. Yes. Mm-hmm. I mean, so that was for me the perfect setup to lead into that next scene and yeah. then the nightmare that goes but I'd like the nightmare have that shot that flashback shot originally in the edit whose idea i'm trying to think whose idea it was to bring mark back okay yeah that was a cool idea yeah to bring it back around bring mark mark back in there yeah (laughs) double my pay (laughs) (laughs) that's right so we filmed it at frontier and then we're talking about filming at uh paca Mm -hmm. um and the part that people haven't seen yet that they will soon is before the pack apart is abandoned beat up yeah. amusement park the, the conyot uh, conyot lake yeah oh yeah conyot, conyot lake, lake. thanks yeah. no worries yeah. <laughs> yes but that wasn't in erie so they weren't allowed to use right that. that's right, right. we spent a good outside. day there a full day yeah. and it's so creepy it's yeah. beautiful and i can't wait to see those shots very eerie yeah. no pun intended oh. yeah uh-huh dun, dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's talk about all of our dancers that, um, mm. let's give shout outs to the, to the yeah. whole dance group. So, Zoe Crenshaw, Jenna Schwartz, Romani, what's it? I don't Rosa. Know. Rosa. Rosa. Um, Solve, Mark's wife. Mm. Solve Santiliano. Um, Angela, Miss Angela yeah. over here, and myself. Corinne. That was really cool. Yeah, we, we uh, did not have one rehearsal. Wow, are you serious? I yeah, Angela and I uh, did the choreography over Zoom and and just like sending videos back and forth and uh, kind of meshed our okay. creative process together. Let's pause because I'm curious about teaching and also choreography via Zoom. So was this something any of you all ever did before 
the pandemic? Absolutely not. Not, not that, that much. much. I mean, I did a little bit of online teaching at University of Florida. Okay. Um, but, and I, I made a piece at SUNY Fredonia in the fall um, that was all rehearsed over Zoom. So I had a little, oh, so a, you had a, a little, little tiny bit. Mm -hmm. um, I learned from some of those mistakes and victories from that little process. But the students, um, they did all the filming and the editing all i had to themselves. do was select clips oh, okay. basically um, i'm a very slow editor so i am so happy <laughs> <laughs> that um i didn't have to do that part yeah understood i, I will say this um as on, on behalf of the dancers i think most dancers nowadays or i don't know for, for a long while are kind of used to learning choreography off of Mm. videos like you know YouTube or and YouTube stuff. or you know yeah. or now TikTok or mm -hmm. you know whatnot Instagram so people are, everything yeah so people are kind of used to that even even at Mercyhurst sometimes when they're they're teaching a, a like a variation from a ballet mm -hmm. you know they will often refer to a video or right. when I'm teaching some of my oh, okay. classes if I'm teaching repertory of a Broadway show or something like that I will I will refer to a video so dancers are pretty used to that I'm glad Grim. that I was one of the choreographers because I am not the best pickup person off a of video. It's not one of my strong suits, so sending out the video was nice for me. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> well, and it was, you did an amazing job of combining, because I sent you videos with movement ideas, mm -hmm. um, and we only had a couple of Zoom meetings where we talked about like shared ideas and mm -hmm. goals, and then, um, my dad had a heart attack and I had to run out of town. And so Corinne really put, meshed those ideas together. Um, and then we really discussed ahead of time the improvisational aspects, like how mm -hmm. you would direct people in the space mm -hmm. um, for the, especially those entrances where we had almost some crashes, <laughs> um, but there was a good bit of improvisation. And also Mark had some improvisation too with, mm -hmm. A, a little bit with your finger no. gestures. <laughs> <laughs> that was, a, he didn't, I don't think, knew that we were rolling then or something. Oh, I used some stuff in between, between like, like official yeah. takes for Mark. But he was in the character, so it mm -hmm. helped, you know. It's all good. Being a smart ass. Smart ass. <laughs> character. <laughs> smart ass. Yeah, I've been called that once or twice. <laughs> Cinema Activist is produced by Lion's Den Productions. Hosted by John C. Lyons. Music by Tony Gray. Support the efforts of Lion's Den Productions by becoming a patron at patreon.com slash Lion's Den Productions. Thank you for listening. We'll be back soon. Bye.